No hands, no arms, no problem. Tom Willis throws out the first pitch at his 30th MLB stadium, one man with a dream. Despite being born without arms, Tom Willis, president and founder of the Pitch for Awareness National Tour, wanted to throw out a ceremonial first pitch in all 30 MLB parks. This morning, Willis had an 80-minute drive from his home in Mira Mesa to Angel Stadium in Anaheim. He'd thrown out a first pitch at 29 ballparks. Only the Los Angeles Angels remained, you would think there would be nerves flowing through every ounce of Willis's body, but not really. He'd been chasing this goal for 15 years, ever since he threw out the first pitch in San Diego in 2008, Miggy's farewell every gift Miguel Cabrera received in his 2023 farewell tour of MLB cities. Rain and ghosts, on the drive, Willis, accompanied by his wife, Mary Lou, friend Louis Nager, photographer Logan McLaughlin, and driver Matt Olson, seemed calm, relieved even, follow the money, MLB player salaries and payrolls for every major league team, I think he was just trying not to get carsick, Mary Lou told USA Today. Tom and his colleagues talked about anything but the first pitch for most of the drive, only shifting their attention that way when rain started coming down around 10 a.m., rain and ghosts, said Olson. It was an hour and 20 minute drive. We probably talked about those for an hour and 10 of it, the rain started coming down pretty hard too. The tarp had to be brought out onto the field around 10.30. An hour before Tom's first pitch was scheduled. Nobody expected it to pour like it did, and suddenly, there was serious concern that Tom's first pitch was going to be delayed or even cancelled, this was the final day of the regular season, and the game between the Los Angeles Angels and Oakland Athletics would have no effect on the standings or the playoffs. If the rain didn't halt, there was a legitimate threat that the game would be cancelled, forcing Tom to wait until 2024 for.